தாயே தமிழே வணக்கம் எங்கள் வாழ்வும் வளமும் வங்காள தமிழனில் சங்கை முழங்கும் குட் ஈவினிங் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஐம் டாக்டர் ஜானகிராமன் ப்ராக்டிசிங் கார்டியாலஜி ஃபார் த பேஸ்ட் தேர்ட் இயர்ஸ் இன் அவுட் ஆஃப் பென்சில்வேனியா இட் இஸ் எக்ஸாக்ட்லி ஒன் இயர் சின்ஸ் ஐ இன்ஃபார்ம் திஸ் கேதரிங் அட் சானோ சே கலஃபோர்னியா தட் ஐ வாஸ் லக்கி டு செக்யூர் ஏ என்டோர்ட் பர்மனன்ட் சேர் ஃபார் தமிழ் அட் ஹார்வர்ட் யூனிவர்சிட்டி கேம்பிரிட்ஜ் மேசச்சூசெட்ஸ் Now, I have the distinct pleasure and privilege to introduce Dr. Parimal Bhatil, Head of the Department of South Asian Studies at Harvard. What is more pleasure and coincidence is Dr. Bhatil is my neighbor. He is born and raised at State College, Pennsylvania, close by my town, where his parents still live and Dr. Bhatil visits often. In fact, this evening, He is going back home for a family gathering for the long weekend. But he agreed to spend time with us. So I appreciate him for that. And you all very well know that all the classical languages of the world, including Latin, Greek, Hebrew, Persian, Chinese and Sanskrit, as permanent chairs in Harvard, but not for Tamil. When we heard through Vaidehi, I was inspired and I was able to secure one through a lot of help, specifically Head of the Department, Parimal Patil and Michael Witzel and so many others and my close friend Dr. Sambandham. Now we have been appreciated except we have to come up with the $6 million for this project and it is worth noting that the current Chief Minister, Ms. Jayalalitha, announced in his election manifesto in the item number 26 that she intend to help Harvard Tamil Chair. Since her victory, I have congratulated her on behalf of Tamil Chair Incorporated and requested for a brief meeting and hope that will secure that and also some funds. Meanwhile, why at Harvard? So many people asked, why not somewhere else? To me, the best university in the world is Harvard, which is running for 380 years. And whenever you want to do, you want to do in the best place, even though it's expensive, just like you go to the expensive doctors. So, they must be doing something right in my judgment. I will tell you some statistics. Harvard has produced 47 Nobel laureates and 37 heads of states like prime ministers and presidents and also produced 48 Pulitzer Prize winners. So Harvard must be doing something right in my judgment. So we decided to go there even if it is too expensive. And Harvard is the, one of the best universities. And one more reason I went there as a physician, I remember 42 years back in alternative medicine from public health department, they talked about yoga, how good it is for controlling the blood pressure, for mental health and physical health. And since then, so many universities and doctors all around the world followed that. And now we know Yoga Day is being celebrated first sometime in June every year by United Nations for the past two years. That happened because of Harvard in my judgment. So I wanted to do Tamil to be studied there and researched there, announced to everyone how good we are rather than we talk about in every political stage in India. That's the reason I thought we should go to Harvard. 